The latest Suzuki Ortigas exterior design gives off a smooth, elegant, and straightforward look that features a taller and wider nose. Similar to the preceding Ortiga models, Suzuki's latest version also has stylish headlamps and larger rear lights. What I like about the current Ortiga model in terms of appearance is how its horizontal accents portray a smoother and sleeker aesthetic, giving the MPV a more modern and suave look. The Suzuki Ortiga Black Edition's interior is where elegance meets utility as the primarily black dashboard is complemented by wood grain design on the panels and door trims for a stylish and classy look even if it's made from plastic. Its layout is also clean and simple, with a 10-inch touch panel audio system at the very center for your navigation, radio, Bluetooth, and USB connection. Here are three knobs below it for air conditioning and its different modes. On a side note, one minor feature that I like is the mini air conditioner vents directly on the cup holders, something that can keep my iced coffee cold as I go through my morning errands. The second row doesn't feel tight as well as there is enough legroom and headroom. I personally like the four air conditioner vents directly above the second row as the manila heat is always a bother for us all. At the third and final row, there is surprisingly a good amount of space laterally for two passengers, but legroom is definitely lessened. Fortunately, for those at the very back, the second row of seats are able to slide and adjust 240mm in length, leaving just enough space for everyone in all rows when spaced accordingly. At the trunk, there is also a good amount of space with a total capacity of 153 liters of luggage. The second and third rows are foldable, giving you a maximum of 803 liters worth of luggage space. Driven by someone with average build and on the shorter side in terms of height, aka me, the Suzuki Ertiga neither feels too small nor too big. And here in the driver's seat, I have ample legroom, headroom, as well as elbow room to move around without feeling too cramped. The Ertiga also comes with reverse parking sensors and the rear view camera for added safety and assistance. As passenger safety is of utmost priority of the Ertiga, its hard tech technology creates a smoothly curving frame which enhances the driving experience, all while reducing overall noise and vibration at the same time for a more pleasant drive. Moreover, it also raises fuel efficiency by lowering weight, ultimately dispersing energy more efficiently for maximum passenger protection. The Ortiga features a more powerful and efficient 1.5 liter power plant as its spirited response is paired with high fuel efficiency. All of these are put together to produce impressive torque with a maximum of 138 newton meters at 4,400 rpm. Its engine is powerful and reliable enough to support and withstand loads of multiple passengers and or heavy cargo, something that vehicles of this ilk should definitely have. When turning corners quickly, the car isn't too high off the ground that you wouldn't feel much body roll nor tilt. The ride feels smooth and is relatively quiet which is something that cars filled with passengers going on a long road trip should have. And to add on to that, the car both looks and feels a lot smaller than it actually is, making it a lot easier and trouble free when maneuvering or parking. And the repeated shift from stop and go is less jarring, making it a lot easier and smoother in traffic, something that a lot, well, all of Manila based drivers will appreciate. So overall, the Suzuki Ortiga is a great all-around utility vehicle, especially for smaller families who not only need a car who could take them and their load places, but to do it safely, comfortably, and pleasantly as well. Being fuel efficient is also a major plus, especially given that a car of such practicality and purposefulness is expected to put on a lot of mileage in a short amount of time.